pi so we have reached the problem on pascal triangle so we need to write a program that builds this triangle which is called pascal triangle of degree n so and so we should store it in a square matrix p of dimension n plus one so if the user enters n equal to six i need to create a matrix of seven multiple seven so the method so we need to calculate and display the value uh, only the value up to the main diagonal so you can see we are just working on the lower triangular uh, part here not on all the matrix so and we will limit the degree by the user to 13 so if the user enters uh, more than 13 i will not accept and if it's less than again zero i will not accept it so to in order to solve that so for each line so we will be doing line by line so we'll initialize the first element uh, to one and the element of the diagonal would be equal to one and then to calculate an element i would uh, do the summation between the element that is on top of it it means that uh, uh, for the same column j i would uh, sum the element on the row i minus one and plus i minus, I minus one j minus one so if for example here 15 is equal to 5 plus 10 so i will sum the element uh, that is on uh, an ob uh, above me on the row above me so it's on i minus one but the same index of j and the elements which is on the row above and the column that behind me so it's i minus one j minus one so let's start we need a, a, a matrix so let's call it uh, p so at maximum is so i will not use size here because at maximum is, is n plus one and n is equal to 13 so i would declare it as 14 14 and we will use the size which is n and we will need to counter obviously i and j to loop so let's read n do print f enter n scan f percentage d address of n and n should be in between 30 so we have a uh, uh, red n so we need to uh, fill the matrix so uh, if i have uh, so uh, i will start from 0 to 6 6 included so i will start from i equal to 0 i less or equal to n i plus plus this is for the number of rows however for the columns i will not uh, uh, start from 0 to n i will until i included so for j equal to 0 j less or equal to i j plus plus and i will do the following so before doing that they are telling us that for each row you may play so it's written here the initialize the first element and the element of the diagonal to one so let's do that so this is for each row for each row i will initialize uh, the first element it means what p of i of zero would be equal to one and for uh, the diagonal it means p of i of i would be equal to one so i have initialized the first element here so there is no need to start i from from uh, from uh, so i will i will not calculate the uh, the, the index for zero so for that i will start j from one because the element at index zero is already done and the element at index i again is already calculated because it's already fixed so what i will do is that just for the inner element so p of i j so let us go back so if i have 15 here so it's equal to 5 plus 10 so it's equal to p of i minus 1 j plus p of i minus 1 j minus 1 so it's equal to p i will go up one row i minus 1 j plus p one row up and one column to the left and we have calculated the uh, matrix the triangle so let's print it so print f Uh, Pascal triangle and we need to loop so for i equal to zero i less than i plus plus this is this is the number of rows so i will have the same uh, uh, output like here so i would for each row i would print the number of row so for that so print f 
n is equal percentage 2d since we'll be having uh, 2 uh, up till 13 so this is i and then we need to loop over j so j equal to 0 j less than so we will reach till the diagonal so it means i is equal to j so till i included j plus plus and so uh, we will print percentage let's say 5d and p of i j and for each row we'll end it with a backslash n and let's this is it so let's take the uh, case where n is equal to 6 and see if we have the same output so we will end up with the same output as here. So at the end we have 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 plus 1. So let's enter that. So we'll have a bigger uh, a triangle. So and uh, yeah, for, for this one, uh, you will know that uh, if you do the summation in diagonal, you will end up with the uh, Fibonacci series sequence that we have already covered while doing uh, loops. So uh, this is it for the, this exercise. So if you have any question, do not hesitate to drop me a message and I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.